y'all and welcome to the brand new edition of Hatchet Happenings 3. I'm DJ Fillin from WFuckOffRadio.com. Radio with balls, bitch. Bringing you a fresh new episode of Hatchet Happenings. Holy shit! I really hope y'all are having a good week. And I hope that we here at Psychopathic Records can make it a little bit better for you with some good news. And right off the rip, we just gotta say, wow! That's all we can really say about all the talk that ICP's brand new music video, Miracles, has generated. The Miracles video is still blowing up everywhere. Juggalos seem to love it, and the mainstream seems to hate it. They've showed clips of it on WebSoup, Fuse TV, Attack of the Show, and they even spoofed it on SNL. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> well, get your magnifying glasses out, ninjas, and take a closer look at life. Man, the fact is, we love it. All of it. How could we not? All the attention is the best. Being misunderstood and hated ain't nothing new to ICP. The Wicked Clowns proved once again to be the most hated band in the whole world. Too bad for the haters, the Wicked Clowns will never die. Woo woo! And for now, let's jump right in to the big news. The Big News. Boondocks is back with this bad boy. A brand new full length album on Psychopathic Records. The name of the new album, South of Hell. Most people know by now that Boonox ain't afraid to say shit. Many lovers of Wicked Horrorcore consider Boondocks to be one of the scariest. But the truth is, Boondocks can also be funny as hell, and he can damn sure turn a crowd out. He's got some great Juggalo style anthems. Dating back to his first release, The Harvest, some of his most popular music has been produced by the great Mike E. Clark. And that's what's so fresh about this new album. Mikey Clark produced the entire record, top to bottom. We asked Mikey Clark what it was like creating South of Hell with Boondocks from scratch. Well, how, how we made the album uh, South of Hell, Boondocks and I, we started it off in the fun house and then we decided that uh, since I got this cool house uh, cabin up north, um, it's in the middle of the woods, real secluded place on a lake. I said, uh, you know, maybe we should go up there. So we ended up going up there. Um, he brought, you know, a bunch of people with him. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere. I got a little studio up there, so we, we set it up. A few days later, we, uh, you know, we had the tracks already planned and everything. So we basically had to, Boondocks had to start writing. So. What we would do, what we did is we set up like these big loudspeakers in the in the main cabin. We just left the woods, the windows open, and uh, we just blast the tracks. And then Boondocks would just write, you know. He'd go out to the road, like there's this road, and he'd like sit by, <laughs> he'd sit by like this road, the road we got out there, and uh, have the shit just blasting and just be writing away and then like later on that night he'd come back and uh, he would, um, you know, we would record the, the vocals and um, it was a really, really different way of making a record for us. It definitely was pretty scary. Um, it definitely affected the music a lot. We, we had the, um, you know, we'd leave the windows open and we just like, literally you could hear, you could hear the music like, probably for miles and play like like I said my place is real secluded I think the bears were probably scared I mean it was just that loud yeah one time I was on the other side of the lake oh well, I, I went out uh, went up to the store the store is like a couple miles away and um, I swear it's like as far as you could hear the shit was so loud you could hear the music <laughs> pounding through the woods it was it was pretty incredible. It was pretty creepy, like the tracks, you can you can definitely hear the influence of just being out in the woods, you know. That's, that's and, uh, the way Boondocks wanted it, you know, and um, he's a real quiet person, man. Um, that's the way he wanted to do the record, then, you know, I, I love being up there, so I didn't have a problem with it. You can hear the wildlife in the music, you know. You, you can, like when you listen to it, you can just imagine like being in the woods or, you know, you can imagine, um, you know, being secluded or something. It's just, it's, it's, 
Sounds like just music to get murdered by. It's, I feel more comfortable sometimes in the city, you know, in the in like the, the worst parts of the city, because in the woods, when you scream, nobody can hear you. <laughs> I really think we captured the essence of the forest in the music. Great way to make a record. I can't wait to go back up there and uh, and record some more. Boondocks felt very comfortable. I noticed that, you know, he. He seemed real comfortable in the woods and to make a record like that, as far as like doing it in a conventional studio. So it was it was really cool. The new Boondox album, South of Hell, is out everywhere on Psychopathic Records. A brand new era has begun for the Scarecrow. And if you're brave enough, Ninja, join them in the woods for South of Hell. If you wish to hear the first song released from this deadly bad boy, you can check out myspace.com slash boondocks. The song is called We All Fall. It's deep. And the video is coming very soon. It's some hella deep dopeness, let me tell you. Congrats to our homie Boondocks on a great new album. And now, ICP, the old shit, is here, bitch. Available at HatchetGear.com and on the Happy Days Tour. ICP's The Old Shit is a mega huge 80 minute mix of classic wicked clowns spanning everything from their very first release of Dog Beats up until the amazing Jekyll Brothers era. Everything covering the 90s. Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J killing it back from the days of the first Joker's card on through to the fifth. Plus shit from all the exciting EPs dropped in between the albums. And ICP The Old Shit even features rare ICP classics and favorites possibly forgotten. All the music was chosen by ICP themselves and edited together by the Wicked Clowns. They crammed as much as they could into this fat ass 80 minute disc. ICP The Old Shit is great for long car rides, juggalo parties, and absolutely perfect for you and your headphones. Relax and take a trip back in time to when ICP first began digging the tunnels that would eventually dominate the underground. Get ICP's The Old Shit at HatchetGear.com or on the Happy Days Tour. Oh, and one more thing. It's dick for dinner for all you haters. Low love up in this bitch. That's right, voice ninja. It is low love in this bitch. Only I ain't getting paid to say it. Low love! What up, Juggalos and Juggalettes? Juggalettes, wait till you hear about Ladies' Night at the Gathering. All female acts all night long at the jump off. Shit, woo woo. But for now, let me tell you about this super fucking spectacular madness. Going down right, yeah. Whoa. You really want me to do this? Okay, here I go. Okay. Okay. Hey. ICP's Happy Days Tour. Yes, it's going down right now. The Insane Clown Posse is out on a mega large tour. It started in Dallas, Texas and goes right on through. Playing almost every major city in the United States. All the way until June 12, 2010. Don't miss this shit, bitch. ICP are performing a huge barrage of Wicked Clown favorites. All the classics you love, plus lots of brand new crazy surprises, trust me. Also on this massive tour, KMK, the Cottonmouth Kings, back with a new album in full motherfucking force. All 15 of them on stage, smoking ganja, jumping up and down, riding on bikes, and whipping the crowd into a motherfucking frenzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cha! Got one. Also, Coolio! Yes, he has a Grammy, and he's been nominated for five more. The fact of the matter is, Coolio is on this tour, rocking Juggalo Dome. Dropping fucking hits all night long. Bringing the good times with some good rhymes. That was a UFO. That was a UFO. Also on this tour, Kitty. I'm guessing Kitty will induce serious mosh pit activity, but that's just me. I hammer slide in mosh pits. What? 
Kitty's music will make your brain mosh pit with itself in your head. <gasps> also on the Happy Days Tour is Necro. Happy, friendly Necro. Not afraid to kill a bitch in his video or anything. One of the hardest of the hardest of the hardest there is. Perhaps the coolest thing about the tour is for all you juggalos that like to come early and hang out. We have JCW Wrestling for you to enjoy at many of the dates. And here to tell you all about it is JCW Heavyweight Champion of the World, Corporal Robinson! What's up, juggalos? Once again, JCW is hitting a motherfucking road. This time with ICP on the Happy Days Tour. We're bringing some of JCW's top motherfucking names with us. We're talking the likes of Madman Pondo, the asshole, the stop sign swinging hoodlum that once held the JCW world title. Also join us, the most hated tag team ever in JCW, the world tag team champions, the Tomaselli brothers, also known as the haters. And how about the motherfucking weed, man? No doubt, smoking and selling dub sex to and from the ring. He uses moves like the smoke bomb to his advantage. Plus, yours truly, the unconquerable JCW World Heavyweight Champion, Corporal Robbins. Love for life. I'm out there as well, defending the JCW World title every night there's wrestling. The stale news is JCW won't be on every show of the Happy Days Tour, just where space permits. Like most of the outdoor venues, for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all out there on the Happy Days Tour. Woo -woo. That's not all, my ninjas. No, no, no! Don't forget who's spinning the ones and twos between acts all night long. Mike E. Clark with his murder mix. He will be in the house schooling remixes and mashups of psychopathic classics, schooling all kind of shit. All this and more on the Happy Days Tour. Hot tag to you, Phelan. I think the whole world by now knows that that tour is gonna be the shit. You know what else was the shit? My homies ICP being on Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That was the shit. Man, check this out from a few weeks ago you would care to read for the ladies and gentlemen of the jury the lyrics from your popular song blacken your eyes <clears throat> filled your head with lead because i want you dead girly girly bitch you freaky freaky bitch what could possibly be offensive about that <clears throat> we work with a number of local charities yeah. like we read to dead people sammy the gerbil and his muffin adventure we also spit fire no further questions thank you aqua teen hunger force thank you adult swim and thank you for that dope freshness that was definitely awesome all right right about this time i want to take this opportunity to take you to a place that we've never been to before. That place is between the pages of the Book of the Wicked. Ooh. <laughs> it's time to bring forth the wicked shit! I'm DJ Clay, and my new mixtape series is called The Book of the Wicked. Chapter one drops on June 8th, and it's wicked as fuck. <laughs> All new wickedness from ICP, Blaze Your Dead Homie, Anybody Killer, The Scarecrow, Boondocks, Axe Murder Boys, and the entire Hatchet family, including Twisted! The Book of the Wicked mixtapes takes us in a brand new direction. A dark and wicked one. <laughs> the new official Psychopathic Records mixtape series, The Book of the Wicked, drops in stores everywhere and at HetchyGear.com on June 8, 2010. <laughs> That's that new, new shit from your boy, DJ Clay. <sighs> the fastest on the planet. Thanks for your time, ninjas. Low love. Don't be scared. Wow. Some wicked shit in the mix for my homie DJ Clay sounds awesome. Plus, you just dropped that Let Him Bleed box set. 
Clay knows how to stay busy. Plus, he's on tour right now with ICP as their DJ. He's in five places at once. The money made me work. The money made me work. The money made me work. And now it's about time for us to find out what the fuck is up with Upchuck. What the fuck's up? With Upchuck. Why the fuck do they have me underwater now? Somebody tell me what this has to do with Blaze. Who writes this shit? So, uh, I'm up Chuck the Clown, uh, outside the city of Atlantis somewhere, apparently. Hey, is that, is that SpongeBob over there? And I'm here to tell you about the new album from Blaze Your Dead Homie. It's called Gang Rags. And the album was produced by the team of Blaze, Violent J, and Mike E. Clark. Was that a shark? All together, they crafted what they say is a concrete cracking masterpiece. Expect some new sounds and a new direction from your dead homie. On his first three albums, Twisted assisted on the albums acting as co-producers. This time, Blaze worked with the flavorings of Mike E. Clark and Violent J. The underground waits in extreme anticipation to hear this album. Blaze is one of the biggest names in the underground scene today. And this is one of the most highly anticipated albums of all time. On the next episode of Hatchet Happenings, we will have a special feature. No, fuck that. I will have a special feature on the new Blaze Your Dead Homie album, Gang Rags. I will be talking with your dead homie Blaze himself. I hope he brings a wetsuit. Until then, remember the album drops June 22nd. I'm Up Chuck the Clown from WFuckOffRadio.com and many more places. <laughs> you can Google me, bitch. And I'm drowning, fuck. I can't swim. Come on, help me. Fill it, get me. Hot batch of freshness. With Sweet Sugar Slam. Sugar Slam back up in this bitch. The real Sugar Slam. Little Blaster can get dipped for dinner. Guess what? I know you hungry. You can smell what I got cooking through your pewter. You want some of these cookies, bitch. You want some of this hot batch of freshness. Don't you? The Gathering of the Juggalos is once again upon us. The mighty, infamous, legendary Gathering of the Juggalos at Cave and Rock, Illinois takes place August 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. News on who's playing the Gathering is coming soon. But for now, remember this year's Gathering marks the release of ICP and Twisted's new full-length motion picture, Big Money Rustlers. Take the DVD home from the Gathering. Tickets are available right now at hatchetgear.com. This is the year it all goes down, homie. This is the year it all goes down. Believe that. Man, it's gonna be one hot ass summer here at Psychopathic, that's for sure. There's a whole lot of good ass music coming out. A big ass tour is underway, the movie's coming up, the gathering is approaching fast. Wow, man, it's a good time to be a juggalo. See y'all in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. Much motherfucking cloud love. We, we Audi 5000, G.